Did you guys know that for every standard or normal website there's at least five porn sites and that 80% of all the pictures on the internet are of naked women? That's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, today's series is the second part of five of the Meet The classes um, and today it's staring the Monk class as you may have seen. I, my goal is to post at least one a day until all five are done so I am currently very very busy uh, leveling characters up to level 13 and that is possibly the most boring grind I've ever tried but I'll see if I can get through with it I'll have the last video of five up in yeah, what is that then? That's in three days, I think. So there should be a video each day. Um, but, well, this video is about the monk. I'll be showing you all of the classes and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So, let's get started. As you can see, the monk as well as the witch doctor is built up by seven primary parts of the skill tree. A primary, a secondary, defensive, technical, focus, mantras and passive. The first one we'll be looking into is the first primary skill, which is Fist of Thunder. As you can see, it's built up, it's a combo skill, it's a combo 3, with the last one giving you the ability to knock them back. If you ruin this, the knockback will be replaced by a chain light effect. And this should come in handy in some situations. As you can see, Instead of the knockback, I have a chain lightning going in a random direction. Not really killing anything, but hopefully it will. It's good uh, for single target, not very effective, at least not as effective as the next ability for AoE. This one's called Deadly Reach. And as you can see, it just pushes through any minions, sends out blast waves that penetrate minions and go further. And it comes becomes really deadly with the rune attached to it, as you can see the second combo and the third combo now splits up and attacks three different directions which is really handy when fighting a big bunch of uh, mobs. The last one is Crippling Wave. There's no rune for it yet but this is a build up combo as well of three as I think all primaries are for monks and this one slows the enemy's movement speed and attack speed on the second and the third one as far as I know and it's fairly decent for AoE but not as decent as Deadly Reach, at least not in my opinion. The first secondary is a roundhouse kick. This roundhouse kick, as you may see or may know, knocks the opponents back and if it's ruined it will then instead or on top of the knockback also leave a fire trail to deal damage to the enemies. The next secondary ability in the beta is Tempest Rush. This one is for brute forcing your way through enemies. It snares the enemies or slows them and deals at least decent damage. If ruined, at least with the rune in beta, in the beta, it will just uh, cost a lower amount of your energy bar, so you can use it for a longer time or longer duration. The last one is your wave of light. This is a humongous bell which is set to kill anything it hits. That's not entirely true, but it does indeed one-shot any kind of minion. I tested on some bosses and it doesn't work. This ability on the screen is called Blinding Light and it basically blinds the enemies and disorients them. If ruined, it will disorient them for a longer time. It can be replaced with the second one on your defensive tree. It's a heal, as you can see, it heals quite a lot, at least in beta, it just healed me 50%, just barely 50% I think. And I'll say it's definitely worth uh, to take a point in it, seeing as it's very limited which classes actually have a heal. I think the monk's the only one actually. The next ability is the dashing strike, as you can see. It's a mobility kind of ability which allows you to rush towards the enemy you are powering your mouse over basically. It's fairly decent for the usage of mobility and is wonderful to get around or get out of nasty situations. The ability shown here is called Exploding Palm. It's fairly obvious. You basically click it on a 
uh, monster or minion or player and if the person dies by it, you'll explode as well. The first passive ability gives you 10% more movement speed. The second one does so that every time you deal damage to a minion or player, that minion or player deals 2.25% no, less damage for 2.5 seconds. And the last one gives 15% a chance to dodge when dual wielding and 35% chance uh, no, 35% more regen, sorry, when you're wearing a two-handed weapon. I've now been around all of the monk's abilities in the Diablo 3 beta, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like, comment on things I could have done better, or what I do decently at least, and give me a subscription if you'd like to see more from my hand. As said earlier, I'll be done with my videos as soon as possible and I will try my hardest to give you guys daily or at least weekly, let's see on my schedule, videos, commentaries and playthroughs, whatever you like. Um, if you'd like something specific, please make sure to enter it in the comment box below. Thanks a lot and see you guys.